you don't know that your favorite food is a baked potato until you actually eat it, you know? And people eliminate oysters and caviar and foie gras and all these, you know, uni and all these, you know, foods that I love that, you know, people don't, they just, like the amount of people that have told me at dinner, because I order oysters a lot, I'm like, would you like some? And they're like, no, I don't like oysters. And I'm like, have you ever had one? I would say three out of four have never had it. I was just gonna say I didn't like oysters, but I never really tried them. <laughs> yeah, and there's a lot of good oysters from Canada, by the way. Um, you know, it's really real. It's the thought of, I understand, like, like, you know, I've had some like pretty weird conversations of why people don't like oysters. They're like, the consistency, the look, it all makes sense, but it all goes down to the same thing, which is like, are you fearful to try something, or are you fearless, you know? I just really admire lack of fear. I was watching uh, some kids play basketball yesterday and there was one kid, two teams were a big mismatch, but this one kid like just, just wasn't scared and I admire that. I really, it's funny that it caught my attention while I was watching something, like it's just awesome. I'm pumped that you're at such a young age that you're starting to like really chip away at it. Yeah, you know, I can look back and say like, oh, no, cause I wanted to do this for like, you know, 20 now, like uh, last six years really, you know, but I was nursing, I used to be a nurse and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm working at other projects and stuff for other people. But I said, you know, I could look back and say like, you know, I've wasted time or I say, you know, for all this time ahead of me, right? That's so, so, such a little piece yeah. of time. I mean, I, you know, when you're 28, six years is a ton. It's fucking 20, you know, it's a ton. It's over 20%. So it feels like a ton. Just like I tell a lot of people like, so obviously you know this because you know my content. I talk so much about patience and everyone loves to make fun of me. Like my favorite comments by far on social media is like Gary Vee rolls up on a 90 year old <laughs> and says, how old are you? They say 90 and he says, you got, un-, and I laugh, but like, you know, it's funny, I get it. When you're 12, a year seems like an eternity. Mm-hmm. You're like next year, right? When you're 47, years are flying, I talk, you know, and it's just how the human brain works. So of course when you're 28, six years, like, whoa, it's 20% of your fucking time, like, yeah. you know, like you felt it, but it's nothing. It's nothing. Mm-hmm. And like, it's great, especially when, you know, a lot of people don't get to this place until 40, 50, 60, to be, it's why I'm so passionate about making the content I make. If I can get 13 to 33 year olds to understand they haven't started, and regardless of anything that's happened, there's actually a fresh restart and you can full, like you could be miserable and have like, and die at 92 with a, like a profoundly happy life because 60 years more in front of you is just 60 years more in front of you. I just really wish people believed it. You know, I am the most extroverted, most network, like most rely on other humans for my energy and like, I'm like out of practice a little bit. Like, like I'm like, I don't wanna be out from eight to midnight doing like things like I'm like, like it's, it's, you have to like almost restart in some ways, but no, it's good. Friendships, you know, re, you know like intimate relationships, dating, business network, like all, humans get so much value out of other humans. Mm-hmm. I think a lot about forced, forced perspective. Like this is why I'm actually really trying to get like, like it shouldn't take, a traumatic experience to have, you know, we do so many things for our bodies. Thank God, like, look, 40 years ago, nobody was going to the gym. Like, actually, nobody. So, you know, like, when I think about that, this is what I look like at 47 years old, like, what I would have looked like if I was born 50 years earlier, like, left to my laurels, I'd be 215, like it'd be a mess. Well, I think you started, you know, I'm trying to yeah. think back all the content, but you started taking your health more seriously in your 30s, right? Yeah, late 30s, 38 and a half. I always laugh, cause I was, it was on a plane where I was like, just thinking and I was like, you know, things are going well, like life's gonna be good. Like this is the vulnerability. Like I could die from a heart attack at 63. You know, I was like, I'm not, I know that I'm not doing the right things. And here I am running around the world telling people like, you're doing this wrong in business. And I'm like, well, you want like, you know, you want your business to be a million dollars after 19 days, that's why you're failing. Same with me. Like, I didn't, I was too logical to know that 19 days in the gym would fix it. I just didn't want to put in the work. It doesn't come down, you know, the big, I would tell you my own journey on health and wellness 
is why I have confidence in people's journey in business. Nobody, I'm nine, I'm now nine years into this journey and there's not a single morning I wake up and want to do it. Not one. You know, like, it's funny, I've been playing some basketball lately, I played again this morning, I played yesterday and today. Yesterday was a Sunday and I woke up at 5.30 in the morning to play basketball and it's interesting because that I love, but like I logically know at 47 it's hard to play basketball. Like it's after 40, it's a very dangerous sport. Game <laughs> yeah, I mean it's not even about the game. It's about like ACLs, like MCL. Like you're so prone in basketball, um, but it's um, but I love it. I'll wake up at 5:30 for it. Whereas like going to do like a chest day or cardio, like I like those. I, I've gotten to like it, but like it still comes so not natural. So, you know, yeah, I, I think a lot about that. And I think about business, I think about health and wellness. But lately I've been thinking more about perspective practice. Like we do a lot of practice to like be healthy, eat well, go to the gym. We do a lot of business coaches this. I wonder if, like I always think about like what are none of us doing right now that's gonna be a thing in 50 years? I think perspective practice Like this is why, maybe because you're close to my content, like why I tell people like go and go and visit a retirement home. Like charity work, like right now, today it's easier for me, back to like what you said about time, it's easier today for me to write a check than to go spend a day, right? Like, Like a kitchen that serves people in need, like one of the, so this year, I've already done more things this year in my personal life, visiting friends, that have personal situations that require me visiting them, to check on them, to check in. Already more in the first 23 days of this year than I did all of last year. Because I decided, I used to say, well I don't have time to work out. Bullshit. And so now I'm like, you know, I've gotta make time to do this. And so it's almost like perspective training. I'm doing it to be gracious, to provide value for somebody I care about. But there's a subconscious part of me that knows that there's also major deposits being put into me. You do leave with tons of gratitude. And then, you know, I'm hoping to scale that to strangers. Because luckily I'm not in a situation where I have a lot of those in my life. But, you know, I think, I really have been thinking a lot about that. Like, what if once a month, 12 times a year, you go and go out of your way to be of service with your time to somebody or some group of people in need. That also gives you a real look at, you know, a life that, you know, you're complaining about X, Y, Z, and like there's people who are terminally ill. I, ha- you know, I've gotten to a point in my career where, you know, a, a lot of people are DMing me with like make a wish like scenarios. Literally this week in my DM, I'm so glad I made the video, I'm so glad I saw it, I'm so glad I made the video and the je- the friends, gen- the guy who was sick, friend reached out to me and said I was an inspiration for this guy and the gentleman passed. And just like fucking like 35 years old. You know and it's just like, I just struggle worrying about money or reputation, though I, <laughs> I care way more about my reputation than money or like anything when you just know this is happening every day and and things are happening every day.